Look at this, protesters lining up outside the U.S. Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C., chanting and holding signs, some in protest of the leaked SCOTUS information, some in favor of it. And Washington wasn't the only place that protests erupted across the nation today. Isabel Rosales reports on an investigation that's been launched into the leak of the Supreme Court's draft majority opinion on abortion access. Outrage spilling into streets across America after a draft version of the Supreme Court's majority opinion that would strike down Roe v. Wade has been leaked. The Supreme Court confirming the authenticity of the nearly 100-page draft, which appears to show a majority of justices would be prepared to uphold a Mississippi law banning most abortions after 15 weeks and overturn Roe v. Wade, leaving it up to individual states to determine abortion policy. Do you plan to investigate the leak? Chief Justice John Roberts calling the leak an egregious breach, saying the leak draft isn't a final opinion, and has now directed the marshal of the court to launch an investigation into the source of that leak. I hope that the leaker, who is extremely likely to be found, given the limited number of people who uh, have the ability to access early drafts of opinions, will be dealt with as severely as the law may uh, allow. Democrats say they're infuriated by the draft. Republicans are spending all their focus on the leak because they don't want to focus on Roe v. Wade. They know they're on the wrong side of history. They know they're on the wrong side of the American people. In Washington, Isabel Rosales, KITV4 Island News. The leaked information is a direct challenge to the establishment of Roe v. Wade, which was a landmark decision in 1973. It says the government cannot interfere with an individual's choice to terminate a pregnancy before viability outside the womb, which is about 23 weeks. If Roe v. Wade is overturned, 22 states have laws or amendments in place that would attempt to ban abortion.